Keep you on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got John Castlemedes here from the Review Journal to talk about a lot that is happening, as always, in entertainment in Las Vegas. Welcome. Yes, good to be back. Big announcement to uh, today that I saw you tip tipster on last night. Paula Abdul coming to the Flamingo, and now she's going in the old Donnie and Marie. Well, yeah, it's not the, old yet because they're not done the, yet. Yeah, it, it Donnie and will Marie be. Show. She opens on August 13th, which is before Donnie and Marie will leave. She'll do a weekend then, and then she'll be back um, after the, in the what is now the Donnie and Marie. Showroom right. for select dates in October, November, December, and again in January. Okay. So she's there, going to be the resident headliner, starting while Donnie Marie are set to close out and sure. then continuing on. So mm -hmm. it, it's official as yeah. of this morning. And she's going to do a lot of her music, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then she, you, you kind of forget, big choreographer, right? Big she's dance. probably going to big dance numbers. I expect it will be dance, mm -hmm. a lot of dance. You know, Paula Abdul is known mostly as a dancer before she ever uh, mm -hmm. cut any music. Uh, she was a Laker girl, mm -hmm. if, you, if right. fans of her know that. Uh, she, of course, was an American Idol judge in 2002 and helped launch that. She's been a, a famous person for a long time, and they're um, banking on that uh, notoriety to sell tickets there. And I think it'll be a fun show. I met her at the um, at the NBT Black and White Gala this mm -hmm. year. She returned. Oh, good. Very nice. She really wants to make it happen in okay. Las Vegas. So good, good. She's in. And she'll be performing at the billboards tonight, too, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Okay. Well, the first uh, live-action thriller Cirque show being announced, right? This is coming to the Luxor in the old Chris Angel Theater. Yep. Uh, I think we got a little bit of a clip here that we can show that it's they sent her. It doesn't sh show, uh, sent us. It doesn't really show too much, but it it's shows, a teaser. <laughs> it's called It shows Run. what the show is about. It's called uh, RUN, R-U-N, and uh, the acronym uh, loosely means R-U-N. Oh. It asks you that when you get in, because if you say no, you might as well go somewhere else. Oh, got it. That's <laughs> it's cool. a very aggressive, uh, it, what they're trying to do is take the blockbuster action film uh, mentality and some of that technology and bring it into live entertainment. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Lamar, who's the president of Cirque du Soleil, has, has said they're the acrobats are not going to be in this show. Acrobats out, stuntmen in, and stunt acts in this show. And it opens on October 20, 24th and is the replacement as the seventh Cirque du Soleil show in for Chris Angel's Mind Freak, which left last October, almost a year to the day. So Chris chimed in. Chris, <laughs> and how did that go? Chris, uh, Chris put up this about tweet. This show. <laughs> yeah, folks, uh, nothing like a little social media dust up, right? Yeah, yeah. Chris yesterday uh, said, there it is. He, he uh, uh, took a shot at the show saying, uh, it's already been done, what you're trying to do. Okay. Uh, you see the hashtag there is Mind Freak Show. That's in reference to his Planet Hollywood production and Immersive, uh, hashtag Immersive. This continued on over on Instagram and the official account for Run went after Chris saying, oh, he sarcastically said, oh, of course you did, uh, big or little guy or something like that. And Chris said, okay, this will be this, the um, third uh, Cirque show to, to close in a row. Uh -oh. It's getting a little dicey. It's getting a little chippy out there, okay. as they say in hockey. Uh, I, the formal PR representatives for both sides of this and for the hotels don't have anything to say about it. But that is an official account on that, that run the show on Instagram. So they're, getting, they're mixing it up a little bit. And, uh, well, maybe I the don't chatter know. will bring more eye. You never know. Well, they say no publicity is bad. Yeah, there, 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 could, be, there good, could be an underlying reason why you'd want to go out there and get free media out of this. I took the bait. You yeah. know, but uh, I don't know if, if that's happening. It's because Chris Angel wanted it to happen. I can tell you def definitively that Cirque du Soleil had no uh, involvement in any orchestrated sure. dust up on uh, social media with Chris Angel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't speak for Chris, but yeah. anyway, all right. Yeah. Well, follow Chris those has accounts, great, guys. I know. Chris has a great <laughs> show. Run looks like it's going to be a great show. Yeah. So and the more shows for us, the better, right? They're big shows, folks, yeah. and there's a lot of investment in them. So I can tell you either way, you can't go yeah. wrong. But, you know, we'll see, how it, we'll see how it unfolds. We literally have 20 seconds. Let's just put up some quick picks from the Elvis show. We told you about this Heartbreak mm -hmm. Hotel at Harrah's. You liked it. You thought the musicians were great, right? I did. I, this is a show that is probably, I will say, this is the best in class for this type of show. If you're an Elvis fan, especially, or a fan of period uh, music, live music done well. The the opening did have a few spots. That they've got to fix the sound system in the show. I hope they've already done it. Those mm -hmm. head mics that they use when they're trying to do the narrative we're cutting out uh, in a couple of er crucial areas. That is inexcusable for an opening. But um, I liked it a lot, and uh, I think Elvis fans will like it a lot, yeah. too. Yeah, told a great story of his life. Yeah, so you learn a lot. Really it's licensed, authorized. Love yeah. it. Katz, thanks. You can read more. Katz got a lot more to talk about um, in his column in the Review Journal, and he'll be back next Wednesday. See you, you then. Know it. All right. Absolutely. Stay with us.